For these who don't know me, I'm Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. And I post regularly short tutorials on my Instagram and TikTok about Blender and Cinema 4D and also my art. So, if you don't know me, please follow me there and support me. If not, it's also okay. Today we will create this beautiful, stunning, amazing, mm. wonderful animation. <laughs> this animation is really cool for you because it's the basic for every landscape. You will learn how to create moon, lightning, water. Fluids are always so complicated, but in this tutorial it's so easy. In this tutorial especially, you will also learn a lot about camera, all functions of the camera and we will also animate it because it's not always a straight hot camera. It's also a fluid wavy camera sometimes. Mm. Today you will learn this and uh, yeah, let's start with the tutorial. The 3D, the 3D objects. objects. All right, let's start with the tutorial. Today it's a really quickie tutorial, but it's really cool. And for this, we go first under the render settings here. And we change the format to 1080 by 1080 pixels. It's the typical Instagram format, but you can change it however you want. But important is change frame range to all frames because we will render an animation. <laughs> all right. So first we will create the water here. And as I said, we don't need plugins for it. It's really easy to recreate it. First, we need a plane for it and the sizes 400 by 400 centimeters are right. And we have to increase the segments to 500 to 500 in both axes. My computer is really fast, so it's okay for my computer. But if uh, it will stock later when you hit uh, play, you can decrease it for this time. and. Um, yeah, then your computer will work better. Okay, and now we animate it directly and for it we need a displacer and we put the displacer under the plane and then we go to shading and here we can insert our noise text texture. It looks like this and if you press the picture here you can change the noises and for this tutorial, we need turbulence. And under relative scale, you can change the scale <laughs> of the texture. The plane will not change. So here we need 600, here we need 530, and in the end, 678. And we also animate it directly um, under animation speed. Here you have to choose 0.1 because this is the only value what is really slow. And if you decide to uh, have a higher value, please, uh, if you start to render, check if it's not too fast because I had the problem a lot of times today that also uh, animation speed one was so fast that I can't use it because of the frame range. So check it first, but you are safe with 0.1. Okay, but as you can see, if you hit play, you don't see so much. We have also changed here under displacer again, some uh, values. We go here under object, under strength, we put, put minus 15. And under high, we choose 300. Bam, <laughs> now you can see something. And under type, we choose to intensity. And now you can also see the animation better. It's really slow, really smooth and really fluid. And yeah, it's enough. This is the animation I used for my artwork. In the next step, um, we create the background. And for this, we need only a plane. So create a plane, <laughs> rotate it by 90 degrees and then put it to the end. Perfect. 
In the next step, we will create the moon. And for this, we need a sphere. <laughs> yeah, it's so easy. I told you. Okay, sphere. Here we have to change the radius to 60 and segments 32 is enough. Okay, and now we bring the sphere to the end. It have to uh, be with the plane. Yeah, something like this. We will see later on because without the sky, you can't see where to position it. But yeah, some, somewhere there. <laughs> and in the end, we also put uh, a camera. And uh, yeah, you choose this. Then we put here the, uh, press the icon. And now we can change the perspective like this, maybe. All right, that's it for the 3D objects. And yeah, so we see us in the next part. You want my project file? You can get it. On Patreon, you can find my project with all textures I use. There you can also support me as an artist, so I can create more cool stuff for you. And a very big thank you for my Patreons. You are the best. And now we came to... The Materials. The materials. materials. All right, so let's start with the materials. And as you can see, uh, the whole scene has no lightning. The only lightning is only the moon and the sky image as a mission object. And so this is the only light that is inserted. And that's the reason why we start first with the sky. And I already created the materials, but I will explain you step by step what I did. Uh, yeah, this material is really simple. It is a normal material. Um, I searched here for texture and I connected uh, the texture with base color and emission color. Emission color is important for the lightning of the plane. And uh, here under texture, you can insert the image of your choice. I use this image, I found it on FreePic, and I will link you this picture in the caption. And if you insert it here in the scene, you have also to uh, increase the custom gamma to 1.1, and on the scale you can find the right position from the image on the plane. And yeah, these are my values uh, for the background. I uh, choose for roughness zero because it's a sky, it don't need roughness. And yeah, as I told emission, here you have also the increase the emission to 0 0.2 around. And if you are ready, drag and drop it to the sky plane and it looks like this. And in the next step, we will create the water. And the water is a really simple material. I change it change the color a little bit to a dark gray bluish uh, color or taupe. But uh, in general, if you create this water with reflection, you choose more a color of black uh, to get more reflection insights. But I want it more colorful, so that's the reason why I put it somewhere in the middle. All right. Uh, in the next step, I increase the metalness value to one. I also increase a little bit the roughness because uh, I wanted a lot of reflections on the water and what uh, material without roughness don't make cool color reflections. So that's the reason why. And I change a little bit the IOR. And I also increase the transmission to one. I can't see any uh, difference between transmission and no transmission because it's a black material. But yeah, I did it because it's water and it's important for water. <laughs> All right, this is the material. Then you can drag and drop it on the water plane. Then it looks like this. Ooh, slay. <laughs> and in the end, it's a normal plane material in white. And I played a little bit with the roughness. And then uh, I also searched for a texture image. Here I added a picture of a moon. And um, this I connected with the base color and the emission color because I want also that it's glowing later on. 
And I also inserted a texture. Um, it looks the same like this. Um, as bump map. And I connected it with the geometry bump map. And I increased here the high scale to 50. Yeah. And, and in the end, to bring the moon to glow, we also have to uh, change the emission weight to 8. Yeah, that's it. Now we can drag and drop the material here to the, uh, to the moon. And now you are wondering why it looks so different as my uh, artwork. <laughs> Maybe. And yeah, it's because of the camera. All these effects here that you can see, the glow effing, the atmosphere and the other things are created by the camera. And now I will show you what I did there. We go here to the camera, then uh, we go to the object first, and here we can change the focal length. And here I choose 30, so we get a cooler view over the whole scene. Now it looks more special and different and not so flat. Um, in the next step, we go to uh, optical, here we can play with the exposure value and here I choose 0.7 and I also uh, choose here a vignette directly, that's really cool. Free is enough and in the end we go to lens effect and here are the cool options. Uh, first we uh, take bloom, these are my values, you can, but you can play around. Here are also flare. These are my values. And in the end, stick. These are my values. And uh, now you maybe don't see the stick, but you can see if you hit play, there are a lot of uh, reflections and stuff like this. So don't make it too high <laughs> because if it's, if it's playing, you see there's a lot of things happening in this animation. <laughs> All right, that's it. Then we came to the next part. The animation. The animation, 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 animation. All right, now we came to the last part of the tutorial, the animation. And here we increase first the animation duration to 180 frames. Um, this is around six seconds because one, fr uh, one second have 30 frames. So 180 frames are six seconds. <laughs> a little bit of math. And uh, now in this part we only animate the camera. I also did it in my final artwork, but it was too less. If you know, you can see it a little bit, but if you don't know it, you don't imagine it. But uh, yeah, I show you what I did. If it's too less for you, you can make it stronger. All right, uh, so we go here uh, to the camera then under coordinates and we press these buttons here to set keyframes in the beginning of the animation. Then we put the animation slider to the end of the animation. Hit again the keyframes button. And now we have in the end and in the beginning the same position and this is perfect for our loop animation later. All right, now we put the animation slider in the middle of the animation, changed a little bit the position with this arrows here. And now we set new keyframes and the whole scene is also moving because of the animated camera. And this we will repeat with the rotation. We set for all rotations a keyframe in the beginning. Then we put the animation slider to the end. Then we put the animation slider in the middle. Here we changed also a little bit the rotation and we set new keyframes. And now the camera is also shaking and moving like the whole scene. And in the end, we want that the animation is linear. For this, we go here under window, then to timeline F curve. Here we select some points in the beginning. Then we press Ctrl A to select all points in our animation. And here we put uh, press the linear button and our whole animation is linear. That's it. Well done, Art Invaders. 
If you want to support me, subscribe to the channel or follow me on Instagram or TikTok. It would be so great if you leave a short message that you are here from this tutorial, so I know you are a real person that like my stuff and nobody else. Mm -hmm. There you can also tag me at Art Invader and I will repost as a thank you your artwork in my stories. And you can also suggest some artists for the next video. It would be also really interesting to see someone out of my bubble. So, uh, by the way, you like this video? Show it with a like or a comment. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next week.